It happened when I was around 11 years old. One day, I was at my friend Kenzie's house. My other friend Emma joined us too. It was a lazy weekend, so we decided to kill some time by baking cookies and doing other things. We all gathered in Kenzie's room and did our geometry homework, which was the main reason we were all there. But soon after, we got bored doing it since we were young teenage girls. So we jumped on the bed, watched YouTube and Netflix, and told each other scary stories. The one I'll never forget is Kenzie's story. She told me a story that kept me paranoid for the rest of my stay at the house. She told us the owner of the house was found murdered in this house, and she sometimes feels like someone lives in her closet. A few hours later, Kenzie's parents said that they were going to a party and wouldn't be back until 6 in the morning. Kenzie didn't want to spend the night with her grandma and little sister, so she suggested that we should have a sleepover. It sounded like a great idea, so we just called each of our parents and it took a lot of convincing to have the sleepover. When we got permission, we all changed into Kenzie's pajamas got in bed, and watched something scary. It was almost 8 p.m. Kenzie's room was so messy, it almost looked like a pig's pen, so we decided that we would record a time lapse of us cleaning. We were in the middle of cleaning the room when the doorbell suddenly rang. It was our pizza delivery. We all forgot to turn the camera off and left to eat. We just sat in the living room, ate, and talked for a while. After we finished eating the pizza, we went back to her room. I realized that we left the camera on. But as I reached to grab my phone, I felt something. I was anxious, even though her room was very silent. So I told my friends to come closer. We all stood there and watched the video. As soon as we left, the window opened slowly. There was a man who came inside, and then he ran into the bathroom. We all froze knowing that someone was in the bathroom, which was connected to this room, but tried not to make any noise. Then, Kenzie told us that we should all leave this room, so we did just that. We went to her grandma's room with her little sister. We immediately locked the door, called the police, and Kenzie's parents. Thankfully, the police arrived in less than five minutes. When they arrived at the house, they went to Kenzie's room and found the man. Near the sink was a gun and a pocket knife, and they arrested him. It turns out that he was put in jail last week for raping young girls and then murdering them. But he escaped prison and tried to find another victim. I couldn't help but imagine what would have happened if I didn't look at the footage on my camera. To this day, I hate going to sleepovers. Now I'm 16 and I heard that the man escaped again after killing the security guards. I hope he's not looking for me or my friends.